Hey everyone, it's Christy and Edzu and we are doing our second episode of the QESB vlog and today we have both arrived into Cardiff. I got in at three in the morning, you got in at five o'clock in the this evening. evening yeah. Yes, and we wanted to just do a summary of how the Cardiff recruitment went, where we are in terms of the Cardiff recruitment and the focus groups themselves and basically just update you guys on, on what the study is doing. So I think the first thing I have on my list is what are we doing in Cardiff? <laughs> yes, that's a good question. What are we doing in Cardiff? In Cardiff, we are doing three different data collections. Yeah, so we have the first, the, the second of the leaders debates tomorrow and, and in keeping with our leaders debates theme, we are having a focus group um, on either side of the leaders debates in, and then we will be collecting data during the leaders debates as well. And then we will have two focus groups of voters in safe and or, mar or marginal constituencies um, on the Saturday. Actually, they're both marginal. So in this case, yeah. they're both marginal. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. And we are, so our strategy was we, we knew we wanted people from Cardiff Central because that's where Labour and the Lib Dems are having a, a big sort of face off. And also Cardiff North. Yes, yes North. Cardiff North. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why I kind of blanked for a second, but uh, Cardiff North, because that's an open seat, but was formerly held by the Conservatives, and we're very excited to see how people are doing their vote calculations in that constituency, given all the dynamics of the general election. And then with the leaders' debates, uh, Christie's idea was if people who don't fit either of these, or don't vote in either of these constituencies, get in touch with us then we could get them to participate in the leaders' debates. And that has ended up working out pretty well in terms of our yeah. recruitment because we had an overwhelming response in Cardiff. So if you're watching and you're from Cardiff, thank you very much! Cardiff, you guys were <laughs> rocking. Just, um, but like more than half of them were students. So we only have a few slots for the 18 to 24 year olds. We probably had 40 applicants for 44 slots, but um, we've got a really good range of, of voters and we have mostly people who know that they're going to vote but don't know how they're going to vote and we have a scattering of some partisans but because this is a really marginal two marginal seats we really want to make sure that we get enough data on people who are making up their minds in these conditions yep so for the recruitment christy took the lead this time um and we essentially followed the same procedure that we followed in the past which is we sent out a press release uh, hoping that it would be picked up by the local media. We did a lot of tweeting, um, targeted tweeting actually, so getting in touch with people, um, tweeting tweeting their handles and asking them to retweet us. Um, and in fact, Cardiff, uh, for the for Cardiff focus groups, we got a lot of uh, response uh, on Twitter with people really catching up and, and uh, retweeting us. And then Christy posted an ad on Craigslist um, asking for participants as well. And we've had a really good, like I said, really good response, very enthusiastic. And so we're very happy with the participants. And now all we have to do is our jobs to do the good data collection. So, yeah. so the focus group um, will take place tomorrow. Um, as with the Dundee focus groups, it will take place around 6.45. Um, the leaders debate starts at 8. So from 8 to 10, we will have the report card at last time. Seven. Oh, no, you're right, because 7 yeah. to 8 is a focus group. 7 to 8 is a focus group. Yeah. And then after the focus group, um, after the readers' debates end, we will have 15 minutes of uh, a debrief of sorts mm -hmm. to try and find out people's uh, reactions and responses to what took place yeah. during the debates. And, yes, it's very exciting because this is an, an area that there's a lot of churning in terms of the politics, a lot of possibilities for change, and people are being presented with things that you know they haven't really had to encounter before so yeah we're very excited to get going and think it's going to be a really rocking couple of focus groups three focus groups mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the nice. last thing i had was you know what is it like doing a focus group away from home because just said, what have you learned yeah <laughs> yes go um, yeah i think what i've learned is from your connections with uh, our contact in Cardiff, which is it's really good to have these personal connections. Um, otherwise, it would be very difficult to organize things uh, on a low budget. I mean, if you have a lot of money, then you can 
do it but you if can you hire everyone to do yeah, your exactly for you. yeah but if you're not and then you really have to depend on connections so i think if you are planning on doing a focus group away from your university mm -hmm. you need to find local people who are interested in your research and are willing to expend that mm -hmm. amount of time on your behalf we're really very fortunate that our advisory board members were interested to get involved and have been fantastic helping us find rooms, um, getting us set up, sending things out through the internal university system, sending out press releases we've prepared. And it does make such a difference to have somebody with local knowledge. And, you know, we can't be experts on every single constituency. I mean, we could, but we wouldn't have time to do <laughs> anything else. And then our advisory boards are the people who really come in and give us that local flavor and ask us the questions that they want to know, which of course are the questions that, you know, we want to provide the data for because those are the people who should be getting the data to make um, analysis and get those answers. So. Yeah. And the other thing which we ended up getting in Cardiff is um, help from students, um, one MPhil, well, actually both PhD students, I think, um, again, whose research either ties into our own or who are interested in learning what it is, what a focus group is and how to do it. So that's the other thing I would say is to try and get connections. help connections and help if possible. Yeah. And let me think in terms of me, I think what I would like to do now that we've got uh, that I'm in the country, basically, is um, we've kind of been doing things as they've come up. But now because we'll be together, um, we don't have to just do everything over Google Hangouts. We will sit and look back at what worked for Dundee, looked at what worked for Cardiff and start to standardize things a bit more so that um, we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. We can uh, very easily create, you know, form letters for people to either rejections or acceptances, whatever else, and just churn that kind of stuff out um, on the days that we're not doing focus groups. So that's it. And that's everything? Yeah. I think so. All right. Well then, um, from Cardiff, and this is our, yeah, the first pre focus group vlog. We'll do one after the Welsh focus group doing an analysis of what we found from the data and other interesting insights. But until then, I've been Christy. And I'm Dia. And we will see you guys next time on the Qualitative Election Study of Britain. Yay! Bye! bye. bye. <laughs> Can you hold on for one second? Yeah. I think there's a smudge on my lens. <sighs> <laughs> I'm really glad we do this. You're so good at it. <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah.